Well, many of us like to stay fit, going to the gym, working out at home. We're always looking for a new way to change up that fitness routine, which is why we have you, Wes Cole, to tell us what we need to do to do those things, change up the routine. Yeah, absolutely. we got some good questions today. Yes. Our first question today is from James. He says, is there any exercise to keep my stomach from poking out? I think a lot of people would want to know the answer to this question. Of course. <laughs> well, besides having, having a little bit too high a body fat, yeah. there's actually a muscle um, underneath your six-pack muscle, the transverse muscle, basically you can train to kind of help keep keep your abdominal cinch in. The, the, one of the ways that you um, train this, other than bracing, is just what we call hollowing. And what you do is, Kyle, come on out here. And what Kyle's going to do is he's just going to kind of, well, he's, he's going to suck in. You can just use your hands and you try to make your abdominals as small as possible. And then you hold in for about 10, 15 seconds and then you come down. And that's going to work that in, internal really? muscle and that's going to help kind of cinch it up and help it. Other than that, bracing or anything. Thank you, Kyle. That oh, just looks silly. <laughs> but no, that's actually interesting. So it's not really hard to do. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if mm -hmm. you've got a lot of fat on there, it's yeah, not going to do it's a lot. Gonna, and just don't do it at the gym. Someone might, they don't know what, they might not know what you're doing. <laughs> so just do it at home. It's a serious workout, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. But just try it. 10 second hold. It'll work. It's weird, but it'll work. All right. Good, good question there. All right. Next question says, I'm 61 years old and every time I lift heavy, my joints hurt for several days. Do I have to lift super heavy to get muscles? This one's from John. Absolutely not. There is so much research proving that it's not necessarily super heavy weight that, get, that, that helps develop muscle. It's moderate loads with good volume. 8 to 12 okay. reps, 3 or 4 sets. Um, you want to make sure that those last few reps are hard, but you don't have to lift super, super heavy. There is definitely some benefit to maximal lifting, especially when it comes to athletes and strength. But you know, as we get older, our you know our goals change sure. and I always tell people it doesn't matter how great a workout is if it's gonna if it's gonna sideline you mm -hmm. for a couple of weeks then it's it's not a good workout anymore you know so stick to those those sub maximal loads those moderate loads just make sure you do plenty of volume and you know a 12 rep max at that equates about 65 percent of what a person can lift once so it's not super super heavy it's not enough to maybe do damage on your joints but um, with enough volume it definitely builds some muscle okay so basically you want to just get get to a point where you can do a lot as yes. many as you can do yes volume volume is really Really important. You want to make sure the weight is heavy enough, but you don't have to do, you know, you lift so heavy where you can only do one or two. That's that's not necessary for muscle growth. All right, all right. So consistency. There you go. All right. Our next question here it is: I turned 50 this month, and for the last few years, squatting with weights has given me a lot of back pain. I've been lifting since I was 16 and never had so many back issues. Should I just tough it out from Rex? <laughs> well, you know, squats are known to be one of the best exercises. And I yeah. know a lot of guys, you know, when, especially when they were younger, squatting is one of the best exercises they can do. You can load a lot of weight on it. But like I said, as people start getting older, and I deal with a lot of clients that are getting older, um, exercises where you do single leg, um, lunges and stuff. Kyle, come on out here. Just a basic lunge. We go over this all the time. You Obviously, it's hard enough to where you don't, ha you don't have to use a ton of load to still get the same effect. Okay. And a lot of people real quick to say, well, you're not gonna, this is not gonna build near the mass or, or strength as a regular squat. But like I said before, thank you, Kyle, is it's not gonna do you any good if you're getting older and squats hurt you. Um, yeah. You know, switch to an exercise that's not gonna sideline you so much. And maybe on the squats, make sure your form is good. And like I said, going back to the first question or the second question, we don't, you don't have to lift as much weight. And toughing it out probably is not a good idea. No, I always tell people, you know, pain is a wonderful thing. It's letting you know that you're doing something wrong. So a little discomfort is to be expected, but when, when something's really hurting, you need to back off a little bit. You can really get yourself hurt. I tell people these muscles, they're the same muscles you're going to have for the rest of your life. You've got to take care of them. All right. Good advice. Thank you so much, Wes. If you have a question you'd like Wes to answer, you can go to our Facebook page, KJRHTV, post it on our wall, or you can call him, 749-0960, or visit him at his gym on 46th, just east of Sheridan.